night, guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, but soon to be stormy, day here in the end times in paradise in Garfield, Texas on this beautiful spring morning, Wednesday, May 2nd, 2018. So I've got a lot to, on my plate here today. Uh, mainly my climate change meltdown roundup rant. Uh, but before I get into all of that, I just want to share today's quote of the day. Today's quote of the day, which I am, uh, I am borrowing from one of, uh, shall we say, my sister channels uh, down here in the Doomosphere. Uh, well, I thought my sister channel uh, was down in the doomosphere, but I, I don't know after this comment. Now, uh, I, I don't, I, I won't name the name of the channel, uh, and unless the the channel person wants to uh, come on here and and take credit for this, but this person, I will call this person C E C E was uh, reading a letter uh, from a from a a listener to CE's YouTube channel uh, and this quote appeared it was an anonymous letter so I, I don't have any idea uh, who the person was who uh, who wrote this letter uh, but anyway, I was, I, I had a rough day yesterday, so it was midnight last night, uh, and, and, and I was long overdue for a sick, twisted, ironic laugh, and I sure as hell got one with, uh, I, I cannot imagine why, uh, this anonymous letter writer did not send this letter to me. I, I'm going to take a wild guess uh, that the anonymous, yes, little dog, the anonymous letter writer was uh, probably not in the tribe. I was alluded to in the letter. I was alluded to. I'm pretty sure I or anyone else with a brain uh, was alluded to. But anyway, here is the quote of the day. Perhaps the quote of the year, and this was May 1st, not April 1st, <clears throat> quote, it is a mistake, it is a mistake to assume that the net impact of humanity on the biosphere is destructive. Uh, one, one, more, one more time, because uh, I, I realized that you just fell to the floor and uh, you might have had a it's temporary amnesia. We're going to repeat this quote one more time that you can find on one of my uh, fellow uh, Doomer's channels. One more time. <clears throat> quote, it is a mistake to assume that the net impact of humanity on the biosphere is destructive. And I, and, and I want to point out that I noticed at least two of my own lieutenants. Now the, the, the person whose video this is is one of my lieutenants. And two more of my very own tribes member lieutenants commented on this video. Just these very nice comments. After hearing that quote, well, here is Hambone Little Tail's comment on that quote. Ah! 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 Have you lost your fucking clueless fucking mind? Bless you, little dog. I'm sorry about that. What? 
the fuck was that supposed to mean? The net, it is a mistake to assume that the net impact of humanity is, what was the word? What was the word again? It, on the biosphere is destructive. <laughs> oh my God, what in the fuck have I been doing with my life for the past eight fucking years? Let's see, what do we got? We are now in a new geologic age. The age of the Anthropocene, otherwise known as the fucking moron, the clueless fucking moronocene. We are in a new geological age because of our, uh, the, the destruction that we have wrought uh, on this planet. We're two fucking minutes from doomsday, people. We're in the middle of the sixth fucking mass extinction on this planet. We have, what is it? Do, do we have like 20,000 scientists uh, sending out a, the second uh, letter of warning to humanity that we are so fucked! Maybe the, the, the writer, the, the anonymous writer of this letter wants to read, uh, what was Derek Jensen's latest book, The Myth of Human Supremacy? Jesus fucking Christ. Yes, little dog. I'm upsetting the dog. I'm upsetting the fucking dog. You know, guys, I don't know how many uh, how many of you watched my uh, my, my videos yesterday uh, about my uh, little little misadventures in the home improvement department, where I came goddamn close to electrocuting myself and burning my fucking house down. Uh, you know, blowing up my air conditioner. Uh, this, this for anyone who is unaware of it, I am completely aware of this fact that you're all eco-Nazi. In one day yesterday, in one fucking day yesterday, one clueless fucking moron eco-Nazi, through his own consumer and lifestyle choices, the, the, the net impact of, uh, of, of one clueless fucking moron eco-Nazis uh, consumer and lifestyle choices on this planet. One day in the life of an eco-Nazi, I have had more of a, uh, why can't I remember the fucking word? Destructive. I have had and one day yesterday, and, and, and uh, every motherfucker on the planet could say the same thing. Uh, a, a goddamn uh, little 12-year-old Hindu boy uh, sitting on the floor of a fucking real mud hut uh, in, in Pakistan could make the same claim. I have had more uh, net uh, destructive impact on this planet in one fucking day then you pick pretty much any species on this planet we share this fucking planet with okay uh, on the entire history of the species and compare one day in the life of an average human uh, to, to the destructive effect uh, of any one of our fellow earthlings on this planet Jesus fucking Christ. You know, anybody suffering some fucking delusion that the net impact of humanity on the biosphere uh, is not necessarily destructive to this planet, I, I invite them to go to fucking Chernobyl. Uh, the, the, the one little ray of hope uh, on this uh, goddamn planet so you can take a look at a human exclusion zone. 
uh, the single biggest, uh, healthiest, most biodiverse Garden of Eden in that entire area of the world is a nuclear meltdown site. As every other one of our fellow Earthlings is figuring out how to deal with a fucking nuclear meltdown site and, and having an easier time dealing with that than, than they had dealing just with, with us trying to coexist with us clueless fucking morons going about our daily lives. You know, I wish every motherfucking, uh, every motherfucking nuclear power plant on this goddamn planet would melt down today and create about 400 uh, human exclusion zones. You know, it's time to make a fucking human exclusion zone out of this planet. And don't worry, this planet is soon enough going to make a human exclusion zone out of this planet. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. As we need to bring global industrial civilization to a grinding, screeching halt. You know, that this letter writer, uh, you know, alluding to me and Doot and Derek Jensen and, and anyone else uh, cheering on uh, the collapse of global industrial civilization. Uh, you know, acting like that, that our, like the net impact of humanity. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, and I think I recall this letter writer, uh, you know, talking about uh, my Humpty Dumpty tribe hero, uh, Paul Ehrlich, and who I'm going to be interviewing uh, one week from today. And one of my questions for Paul, uh, as this letter writer was pointing out, that Paul Ehrlich is, is a big defender of, of uh, civilization. He thinks that civilization is not going to last. Uh, the rest of the century, but he continues to defend global industrial civilization, uh, as does Chris Hedges, and, you know, and some of the great minds of the planet. And, and I'm just going to have to ask Paul, what is there to defend? What the fuck is there to defend? Anyway... I'm going to wrap up today's quote of the day and come back with a quick comment of the day and then we're going to get back to reality uh, with my climate change meltdown roundup rant and the latest We Are So Fucked essay uh, from climatologist Andrew Glickson. This little dog coming right up. Bye guys.